I wanted to say hello and I'm going to clean my cast iron pan. This is the one that I cooked the chicken piccata in. So it had some um, olive oil, avocado oil actually, um, some butter, um, white wine, um, cooking wine, um, lemon. So it had, you know, it's, it's kind of got some some grease going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, this is a dishcloth that I have. Um, it's one of the ones that I love. So I'm just going to add some soap to, um, my dishcloth and I'm just going to suds it up. And usually what I do is I'll make a really good first run through, um, just to try to get the majority of it off. Um, and then just really see what's underneath and what I really need to scrub with, or if I need to scrub it all. So this, this time I don't really have a lot going on on it because you can see it's easily just kind of wiping out. And you know, the, the mindset, a lot of times people don't even really clean them. They wipe them out like literally with a cloth and then set them on the stove and wait for the next time. Okay, so there's the cast iron is pretty much, I mean, I don't think I'm going to have to really do too much to it. Let's rinse it off and I know some people don't like to use soap on them I use soap I rinse it off really well I think it's to each person's discretion um, of course you're not going to want to set this down and let it soak in a tub of water because it's going to rust and then you're going to have to fix those rust spots so you're trying to prevent that so you want to wash it and dry it as soon as you wash it so it looks pretty good. I do see a little spot right there. So I want to take sometimes it'll come right up. These are great. These are the pan scrapers. These are wonderful. So you can see where I generally cook on it in the center there. And that looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm gonna rinse it out again, and I'm gonna put it on the stove top after I give it a quick dry with my towel. And then I'm gonna add some oil to it once it starts drying. So, I just like to get a really good, wipe it out really well with the cloth. And then you can also see and make sure that the center is all okay. It looks pretty good. You can see the finish on there. So, this is what I was talking about before where we're gonna add some oil to it once it gets warmed up. I'm putting it on the stove top just to warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna bring you over. All right. So once it gets a little bit warm and I have just some canola oil here and I use it just specifically, blah, 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 for this. So you want to get this warm and you're going to get this spreading all around. I just turned this on so it's starting to get a little warm so I can't really do it all that well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my towel and I'm going to run it around there. So what I'm doing is I am just basically re-seasoning. So any spots that I might have pulled off any of that. And it's going to cook off anything that might be yucky. So it's kind of, you're kind of doing two of the same thing. So now I'm shutting this off. All right. And I'm going to take it off the heat. So I just wanted to make sure that it was all dry. You don't want anything to be wet. And I store these in my oven. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.